On my last video, we talked about uprights on tension tools and fold down keys. And I said sometimes if the upright is not tall enough, it won't catch the bolt and it can spin right round, which is the case on a lot of lever locks. And it's pretty much like the case on the cabinet lock I showed you recently. But what I want to point out today, is sometimes the upright is tall enough and it doesn't catch the bolt. And it's not because the upright isn't catching the bolt because of its length. It's because it's not catching the bolt because the bolt isn't at the back of the lock. So this particular padlock, it's an old lock, this one, spins right round. It's not because the upright isn't tall enough. Just demonstrate this one. Look how tall that is. In fact, you can't even get it in unless you put it at an angle. Put that in, spins all the way round. So when you put your key in, if it spins all the way around, before you start looking for a key with a taller upright, think to yourself, is the bolt at the back of the lock? In this case, it's not. The bolt sits in the middle. So to pick this one open, you need to pull the key out. And you keep pulling it out until you find the bolt. If you pull it out too far, it will be springy. Now this lock is well worn, and you only actually need to pick one lever up in this lock to open it. There is four levers in there, but you only need to lift one. So it's not about picking the lock, it's about demonstrating that Sometimes the bolt isn't always, got me wire caught now. Sometimes the bolt isn't always at the back of the lock. So just feel for that one lever, got it up in the air. We turn it around to get it open. So you can see in that lock, there is four levers and you can see the bolt sits in the middle of the lock. Got no key for this, but it ain't much good. You only need to lift one lever up. But it's okay as a demonstration lock. So like I say, if the upright on your key or tension tool doesn't catch the bolt, it ain't always the case that it's not long enough. It could be that the bolt isn't at the back of the lock. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Try it a bit.